Hi everybody, it's JordiV and today I'm gonna show you how I've made this track in the style of Fela. So I started this uh, composition with the pads. I will let you listen to it quickly. So nothing complicated here, just a couple of chords in the key of uh, E minor if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I've played the chords on the um, Diva VST. I later added some uh, reverb with the Valhalla Vintage Reverb, a little bit of echo and finally some EQ8 to cut the low frequencies and add a bit of the high frequencies. Later I decided to add this piano on Omnisphere also some reverb and some compression so for the piano I just played the top melody around the chords I just composed with the pads and yeah I'll let you listen to the piano on solo So yeah, once I had both of those uh, two elements, I moved to the drums. So I started with the kick. So we are in the um, 147 beats per minute, which is basically a typical kind of uh, dubstep uh, BPM. So if you are going for this type of style, you either go for the deep UK kind of uh, dubstep or the future garage uh, influence, I guess. So. Fela have both of these uh, kind of subgenre within his um, discography. So I went with a basic um, dubstep drum pattern. I will I will let you listen to the kick on solo. So processing wise, I just added a little bit of compression with the glue compressor. Later some EQ8 in order to cut uh, some of the mid frequencies since um, I kind of remarked that there is a little bit of mud here. Usually I will do it later on the master channel, but I've decided to do it here on the cake. Also cutting some of this uh, mid frequencies leave uh, more room for the bass. So Let's move to the next uh, element. So we have those um, hi-hat pattern. So with the hi-hats, I've decided to go with something a little bit unusual. Actually, this is kind of a trap pattern what I mean about that is I have only one shot here and I've decided to a play some eighth notes with a variation on the velocity so we are on uh, yeah on the eighth note grid later to add some pitch variation to make it more interesting I also added this VST called uh, pancake from Capel guys which is basically an auto pan VST that moves the um, hi-hats from the left to the right and adds some movement and finally I have some EQ8 to cut the low frequencies. So the next element is an open hat, no processing so far. I just routed the, the output through the return channel. So I added just a little bit of reverb, sorry. So I will let you listen to the open hi-hats. So yeah, next element will be those rims, I guess. I cut a bit of the low frequencies again, some of the highs since I like them to be a little bit dark. I also added some reverb with the return channel. I'll solo it. So no crazy pattern here, just a bit of movement, something to add to the drums. Later I added those shakers.
again I've decided to keep it raw, no processing. Maybe I'll add a little bit of EQ weight later in order to not muddy up the mix, but for now it works fine for me. So that's the basic structure of the initial beat. Later what uh, Fela actually does and this, this sorry this is something you might remark within his masterclass um, video he adds a little bit of glitch sounds or foley sounds in order to create an extra texture with the beat so i just did that so i added a little bit of foley here i got a foley sample and i decided to cut it a bit maybe rearrange it in, in, uh, in a specific order to add some texture I added a little bit of erosion to add some white noise to the sample, some EQ weight to cut the low frequencies, some chorus to make it more stereo, and finally some reverb. So if you listen to the drums, let me solo my drums here, with the Foley Sam. So yeah, it adds a lot of character to the sound. Later we have our Foley snare here. So let me solo it. Some EQ8, some um, ping pong delay here on the return channel. And finally we have this layer, which is another shaker with the pancake again VST to make it pan uh, from the left to the right. So I might expand on my return channel later since this is the uh, technique that Fela used. So he usually adds a lot of return channel with various elements and VSTs. So before starting a track, he adds like a couple of return channels. He had his pitch delay there, his um, echo, his reverb, and throughout the track, he wrote his elements to those return channel in order to create more movement. So I will expand on my return channel later. As for now, let's move to the bass. So for the bass, I have this um, preset on Serum called Deeper Rees. Later, I added the utility from Ableton Live to make it mono. I also cut some of the high frequencies since we, know we don't need them on the bass and some of those low frequencies since uh, we won't hear them anyway so might as well cut them from the mix it make it less muddy later i added a, a compressor a compressor sorry with a little bit of side chain on the kick so for the bass it sounds like this So yeah, a lot of low end and I love it this way. Later, I moved to the extra melodic element. So I added this vocal, some vintage reverb, some echo again, and uh, an EQ weight to cut the low frequencies. And I have this VST called Portal. Uh, let it load a bit. Yeah, from output. This is a very interesting plugin. If you guys are looking into variation and some interesting effects on your uh, melodic elements or drums, I highly advise this plugin. It leaves a lot of room for experimentation. Some of the presets are a bit weird, I guess, and too experimental, but this one works amazing. So I have uh, what they call a little bit of movement and delay. And for this circle, it allow you to scroll and mix between the the two elements so if i play the um, vocal part here let me experiment a bit here so yeah super interesting stuff i will let you experiment with the plugin and let me know what you think later i have another vocal sample some reverb again an EQ weight to cut some of the low frequencies and the high frequencies. So yeah, I, I have it routed through the my return channel, which is basically the C, this one. 
and I have so, a little bit of sound um, shifting on it. So I have the sound shifter from Wave plugins, which is basically on 12 semitones. So I'm adding a little bit of texture to the piano, I guess, and the vocals. So we have in our original sample plane and a little bit of texture coming from the vocals with a higher um, octave. So if I solo the return channel here, you will hear a little bit of fuzz and a texture from the piano and the vocals. So again, on its own, it sounds weird, but played within the track, it adds it some texture. This is actually a technique that uh, Fela use a lot. So let's move to the, um, to the other elements. So I have this vocal also, which plays not throughout the track, but at some part of it, maybe at the intro and at the breakdown and again here by the outro. So the vocal sounds the sorry the vocal sample sounds like this yeah i love this vocal sample but uh, literally if i'm using it towards the track it will sound cheesy but in some parts it sounds amazing so i have another layer for this vocal let me look what we have here so yeah later i've decided to add some um, extra foley sounds so we have this it's called the rock impact. Let's listen to it. It's basically some foley sounds with act with the which acts sorry like um, an extra percussion element. Again, another another of uh, one of those sounds. And finally we have this field recording that plays in the um, intro and in the breakdown and that adds a little bit of texture to the song. So yeah, some rain and like um, bird singing. So I cut some of the low frequencies and some of the high frequencies since I wasn't too convinced with the birds. I added a little bit of reverb and I put it on minus 10 since I wanted to be in the background and not super present. So we have again this pedal sound, Foley sounds here in the um, intro, so nothing special. Finally, I have some um, riser in order to handle the transitions and for the first audio track I have also this um, reverse symbol which i use mainly on most of my tracks in order to keep the track moving later before finishing the track i might replace it with another sample since i don't like using the sample all the time but this has saved me a lot of time when i'm working so i put just this sample from cymatics and uh, later i get back to it so i know i'm keep uh, I keep saying this is the final element, but I forget about the saxophone part here, which plays um, within the second part of the track. So we have this saxophone sample that I cut it up and rearrange it in order to fit, to fit in within the track, especially that it's played on 90 beats per minute. So I had to do some work in order to make it uh, fit, I guess. So let's play it. So yeah, as you might see, it's a little bit sloppy. Maybe I should later like go and play with the fades here, make it perfect. Maybe manually cut those parts and rearrange them. But as for now, it, it's okay, I guess. So yeah, I covered basically most of the track. The last thing is again, try to experiment with the, your return channel. As you might see here, I have some reverb. I cut some of the low frequencies in order to not mud up the mix. I added a little bit of auto pan to make it uh, move. And yeah, why not play with your return channel? Maybe add some, some weird effects and try to play also with the automation to make the track more interesting. A tip that Fela gives is 
to not overcomplicate the composition, but play with the effects to make it more interesting and keep the listeners, uh, I guess, uh, interested within the um, composition. So I hope you learned something within uh, this tutorial. Let me know if you want me to cover any other artist or you want me to expand on one of these uh, audio parts or, or my effects or anything. And yeah, be safe. Thank you very much. Bye.